Alright guys, what's going on? So we are playing a game called Siren Head Awakening today. Um, figured I might as well check it out. There we go. Guess we're gonna hop right into it. Uh, we'll do a normal experience, because I don't want to be a baby about this. Hopefully this game is good. I tried um I tried recording a different a few different videos, but um none of the games really went well, so I did a little research today and hopefully these games go pretty well. Siren Head Awakening. Friday, March twenty first, nineteen ninety seven. Intro. The canister, spark plug. Oil, canister, car battery. Welcome to Siren Head Awakening. You'll find yourself in the middle of the dark forest with nothing but a flashlight. You must find four car parts scattered across the map to repair your broken car and escape. Due to physical limitations, you can only hold one car part at a time. Finding car parts among other items also seems to anger the beast that lurks in the shadow of Siren's Head. Stamina is an important part of your life when sprinting through the woods, you're very vulnerable without it, so use it wisely. Your flashlight is also a valuable tool, but be sure to turn it off when you hear Siren Head nearby or else you'll get hunted. When being hunted, it's a good idea to try and find shelter while running away. Siren Head cannot reach for you if you're inside a building or a vehicle. Use what you learn to try to escape. Okay, let me just get the controls down first off. So... F is flashlight, okay, pretty simple. So, there's our car. Can't do anything about that, so let's go in the woods and try to find these parts. I have, um, have a few video ideas coming up. Um, I think we're gonna bra bring back some VR stuff uh, pretty soon. Not like probably within the next two weeks. I'm thinking because that's something that we can really dive into and play. Um, so we are looking for an oil canister. Can I help this? Okay. There's a giant rock up ahead. Let's go check that out. I just walk past something. No, it's just a rock. Yeah. Well, oh, there's a little entrance. There's probably something in there. This just kind of reminds me of like the Slenderman game where you collect all the notes. Nothing around these trees. Or no, no, that's nothing. Um, there also might be some abandoned stuff coming up. Uh, but that's just an idea that I was kind of running with. Um, I might upload more Combat Master shit, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's generally just like me just playing, there's not really much to it, so... Um, I don't see anything quite yet.
Nothing quite yet, no. Nothing around here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, no, nothing there. So I have to also memorize my way back to the car, because I need to get all the items, and this is how you explore the rest of that forest. Okay. These are train tracks. Okay, good. I was going to say, if you can go over that, that's way too much land. Trying to explore along here now. See what we can find. Any rock I'm usually just thinking is something around here. From the looks of it, we have to collect notes too. Booming footsteps come closer and closer. His blaring sirens. I'm dead. I'm not in hard mode, right? Wait. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well, so before we went, what way? I think this way? Because that's where... Let's go this way, how about that? Let's just look towards the landmarks, because the landmarks probably have more stuff than I think. Like this gas station right here probably has a few parts in itself. That siren head guy just absolutely killed me before. This way. Actually, no, let's explore the, the gas station thoroughly. Make sure we're not missing anything. Nope, just trash runs. Something was dragging them. I have to be weary that I just attracted him. So I have to be very careful. The car's this way. Turn this back on. As far as I saw, I don't think there was anything in there, but I'm gonna go back in and just clarify. And then after that, I'm gonna go towards that house that I saw, because that probably has a part in itself. No, that's no, nothing over here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Yeah. I think the strat is flashlight off. Because you can hear noises, that's for sure. Uh, wait, where's that house? Is it over this way?
Those are stars. Wait, hold on. Yeah, here's the house. Can't get in the house. Nothing around back. Bad in here. Can't get in here. Anything out back? Yeah, that was useless. Let's check over here. Dude, the creepy part is when I get deep into the woods, I'm not going to know the way back to the car, but I think I'm going to try to use that other one as a landmark. That house has a note in it. And the siren head generally killed me all the way over that way. Like, that way over there, so. Any parts in here? Nothing in here, okay. Nothing around the area, nope. I guess let's head straight and try to find something. More houses over this way. I generally just associate houses with having spare parts. Nothing. Okay. Nothing around the first house. Second house. These look like cabins, maybe. Some sort. Dead? No. Well. Oh, just don't look at him. Okay. So when he comes, I'm just gonna pretty much just look straight in the ground. There's also notes I have to collect, so I'm starting to think. Okay, so uh, go towards the gas station. There's a part over there, which I'm like 90% sure was this way. So wait, now I'm kind of second guessing myself. Yeah, I think I'm second guessing because I think it's the other way, and yeah, that makes more sense. Maybe it's off to the left. I'm just going to follow the... That way... Yep, so it's, it's right over here. Those houses had nothing as far as I could see. So... Got the spark plug. Can I sprint? Is that a thing? Okay. I'm going to try to maintain that, though. Like, don't sprint. Anyways, some crucial energy.
I was fucking dead. This game is just hard. Or like, it's kind of unforgiving. Because they don't have any spawn points or anything. He just spawned like right there the second I got that item. And I, so I think the second I hear that thing, like, I think I just need to like run and hide somewhere and look down the entire time. Make sure he doesn't spawn over here. Because he's going to notice a car. It's one of the largest objects. Go the other right now. Cause he's already spawned in. It's just a matter of looking for, like, noticeable areas, right? Because... Or, like, rocks or something along those lines. Because I feel like this game would be too hard. They didn't have it in like landmarks. Okay, I kind of know where I am now. Yeah, so there was nothing along this side, as far as I could see. It's just a matter of, like, ruling out areas now. This is the one with the note, correct? Wait, no. Okay. This is not the one with the note. A tire, is that one of the parts? It's more, it's less noticeable, I think, of walking down the road. Can't go that way. Okay. Let's walk on the train tracks now. And like look for landmarks like this. A train should have something. I have a feeling he's around. There's like a mark on my computer that I keep thinking is siren head just coming around the corner. the 
tracks back. And then just follow the road. Am I dead? At least I know two locations now, and I'm pretty sure there's four. Yeah, there's four. I have the battery and the spark plug located. So, let's go this way, towards that, and then let's go the other way on the tracks for the uh, battery. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait a second. Because he's, he's pretty noticeable when he's walking, right? So... If I get to two parts... Which way did it go? See if he's still kind of like blocking the way. So now he's going to associate that there's someone near the car. So I think the strat is if we can move. Just like this, and be aware of his sounds, we should be good. And then, if we can locate the other parts, we're in a really good spot. And then, it's just a timing of like, okay, this is when you need to go, this is how long you need to take. If I run, it makes way too much noise. The hope is that, like, crossing through here, which I might have found another part, hold on. We gotta go back that way. Cause I guarantee you there's a part over that way. Yep, it's this way. And I can't carry one or more item. So I think the strategy So if he was if he was near the car, he either moved closer towards me.
didn't see which way you moved. I'm gonna check the RV. Obviously I know I can't pick it up. But that RV might have something. So we think we've located two notes in two parts. I'm dead. Okay, so... I think this round... I'm gonna look for the third part. I think it just makes more sense if I focus on the parts first. Yeah. Because I'm looking at the spark plug and the car battery. So we can't reach you if you're inside a building or vehicle. Kay. So. This way for the spark plug. I'm just gonna try to run through like the the routine, and then maybe break that routine if I find a, if I come upon a part that I think I'm gonna need. And I think I might go back to that RV to see if let me just make sure he's not near. See over there. I'm going to move this way. I already checked those houses, there's nothing that way. Curious if the notes save too. So that's that RV I was just running into. I need to see if the notes save as well. Because if the notes save, then it's just pretty much like... Focus. I think he's around me, and I'm just gonna get inside just in case. The notes do not save. Okay. That sucks. Yeah, I need to go for that second part right now, but I don't know where the other two are. The music just kind of... Dead.
game's like good, man, but do I go easy mode? Just for the sake of time. <laughs> Do normal. I just think they need to add some sort of auto save mechanic. Like, pretty quick, dude. Because. I mean, I've collected two notes and a part, so the part should save. Or at least the notes. Like, like the notes are barely, like, anything, like, important, I'd say, so. I knew I should have stayed in the car. I'm just gonna do a normal rotation. Go this way. Because if you think about it, that's like what, like s 10 items you have to collect and you can't do it. Like, there's no auto save mechanic at all, so. Like, it could be just like, I don't know. I'm just being a bitch about it, but I just think, like, there should be something incentivize it. Note rotation, then I'm going to go further down for the part. The car battery part. Does it make a noise when I get in? Can you crouch? I just want to make sure he's not around. If he is, I'm sprinting back here. Is that him? No. I thought I heard something. I just gotta know which way he went. It sounded like he went this way. He's like on my ass, dude.
walk in this way. Keeps just pacing. Dude, I can't leave. Okay, hear me out. I make a run for the RV. the sound of it, he's literally like following me. That's close to the road. That's the houses, so we're super close. I need to get into that little area. Cause that's another shot. The second I collect this, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. The car's right over there. I'm curious at what speed he can move. My gut tells me to make a run for the gas station. He's around. Amen. Uh, normal's just dead. I don't even know if easy's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be my last attempt regardless of how it goes. There's no survivor notes in this one, so... Should be relatively easier. I have the location of two men, but I don't know where the third and the fourth are. And it's plus in the other in the last round he was like following like every little step. Right? So 
Like, I was trapped in a train for, like, five minutes. Just having to pace around until he left. And then I was able to collect the second battery, luckily, but... If somehow, the, like, the devs are watching this video, all I recommend is some sort of autosave feature, checkpointer, or something along those lines, just to, to give, like, a, I don't know, something, man. Because I've gone through, what, three or four attempts right now, and, I mean, I've pretty much got two, right? There's not much progress. towards the second one. I have a feeling that this third one is in here. I just want to complete it. <laughs> I'm probably going to play this thing once anyways, so. inside here. Try to gauge if there is a part, because if there is, then we have three of the four. Please, for love of God, be a part. Nothing. put the car battery in the car. I don't know where else to check. Where have I not gone? I doubt, I hope to god they would not just leave it in the middle of the forest. Like, like in a random location, because that's... I mean, that's just cruel. I'll just scour through like acres of forest just, just to find one little part. I think I might go out. Because there's nothing in those cabins, there's nothing in those houses. I've kind of gone that way, honestly. Like, I pretty much scoured out that way. Obviously, the gas station, the only thing is the spark plug. The house is all double check, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing. I might check over this hill. Uh, I do want to beat this game, man. These check what's like over this hill. Okay. 
I'm done. It's a fun game, right? Fun game. Um, just this autosave feature, like the fact there is an autosave feature, or a checkpoint feature at any point in the game is just, just cruel, dude. Um, I'm gonna call it there, so... Yeah, um, I think the next game we'll be playing is... I'll, I'll put it in the description. I forget which game it is. Um, but we'll be playing that tomorrow, so... Hopefully you enjoyed just me running around trying to locate parts in, in this game, but um, that'll be it.